Hey everyone, today we have the 2021 Jaguar XFR Dynamic. If you're not familiar with Jaguar's lineup, the XF is a midsize sedan which competes with a BMW 5 Series, Audi A6 or a Mercedes-Benz E-Class. The car debuted back in 2007, the second gen came out in 2015 and for 2021 Jaguar refreshed the XF. So what changed? The changes to the exterior are minor, but let's be real, that wasn't needed since the XF has been one of the most beautiful cars in the segment and it aged very well. Most of the updates are seen inside the XF, so let's start with that. Now the interior has been completely redesigned and it's been created with a great attention to detail. All materials feel very high quality and are nice to the touch, just as I expected from a luxury product. Also new is a 11.4 inch curved infotainment touchscreen, which controls a PV Pro infotainment system. The graphics look fresh and simple, the software is very responsive and intuitive to use, unlike the previous generation system found in their products. Now the front seats with adjustable side bolsters are very comfortable, well padded and provide good support. Moving to the back, the back seat is relatively spacious, offering more room than a 5 Series or an E-Class, but less than an Audi A6 or a Volvo S90. You also get two USB-C ports for charging your devices, and the trunk is spacious, offering 17.8 cubic feet of space. Alright, so with that, let's take the XF on the road and see how it drives. So, what it's like to drive the XF? Well, it's a luxury, comfortable cruiser in the first place. There is no harshness, no vibrations, only a smooth driving experience. The cabin is well isolated from the road and wind noise and the car is very compliant over bumps, even with the 20-inch wheels that were fitted on my tester. Now, we also know that sport is embedded in Jaguar's DNA and I'm happy to announce that the XF doesn't disappoint when it comes to more spirited driving. Thanks to the optional adaptive dampers and a torque vectoring all-wheel drive, the XF is glued to the road and the handling is pretty impressive. In conjunction with a precise, not overly assisted steering, the XF puts a smile on your face and driving it on a curvy back roads is pretty fun. Now, one thing that doesn't necessarily match its sporty nature is the powertrain. For 2021, the XF lost a 380 horsepower supercharged V6 and we are left with two turbocharged 2 liter 4 poppers. The first one, P250, pushes out 246 horsepower and the more powerful variant called P300 that I tested makes 296 horses. It seems like the P300 variant is perfectly adequate for the XF, but I gotta say, the motor lacks refinement and smooth power delivery compared to the German rivals. The 8-speed ZF automatic transmission isn't as quick as I expected, but it is on the other hand very smooth. The fuel economy is pretty decent, considering we're talking about a 300 horsepower midsize sedan with all-wheel drive. I was able to average 22 miles per gallon in the city, 30 on highway and 26 combined. Now, when it comes to the driver assist features, the XF comes standard with front and rear parking sensors, 360 degree camera, automatic braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, lane keeping assist and a driver condition monitor. Higher trims get traffic sign recognition and blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alerts. The adaptive cruise control is a standalone option, priced at $1200. In a world full of SUVs, it was very refreshing to spend a couple of days with the redesigned Jaguar XF. The Jack is an interesting proposition in the luxury midsize sedan segment, especially if you want to stand out from the crowd. It has a very distinctive and attractive design, great driving dynamics and is very reasonably priced. Yes, the XF is one of the least expensive offerings in the segment. Pricing starts at $43,995 for a base P250 model 
and $49,995 for a P300R Dynamic. My fully loaded tester was priced at $62,695. If you wonder how I would spec out my XF, click the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later.